Hello and welcome to the session. In this session, we are going to discuss the following question which says that What is the probability that the numbers formed with the digits 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 are such that the odd digits always occupy the odd places and even digits always occupy the even places and digits cannot be repeated? The number of all permutations of n distinct things taken all at a time is given by n factorial we also have fundamental principle of multiplication which states that if there are two jobs to be done such that the first job can be done in n number of ways, the second job can be done in n number of ways, then both the jobs together can be done in n into n number of ways, With this key idea, let us proceed with the solution. We need to find the probability that the numbers formed with the digits 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 such that the odd digits always occupy the odd places and the even digits always occupy the even places. Also, the digits cannot be repeated. We are given 8 digits. So we have 8 places to fill in. There are 4 odd places that is 1st, 3rd, 5th and 7th and 4 even places that is 2nd, 4th, 6th and 8th. So 4 odd digits can occupy four odd places such that now first place can be occupied by any of the four digits There are four options for this place. Now third place can be occupied by the remaining three odd digits. So there are three options for this place. Similarly, fifth place will have two options and the seventh place will have one option. Therefore, the number of ways in which four odd digits can occupy four odd places is given by four into three into two into one that is equal to four factorial. Similarly, There are four even places that is second, 
fourth, sixth, and eighth, and four even digits to be filled in these four even places. Therefore, the number of ways in which four even digits can occupy four even places is given by four factorial we need to find the probability that the numbers formed with these eight digits are such that the odd digits always occupy the odd places and even digits always occupy the even places. For this we have the fundamental principle of multiplication which states that if there are two jobs to be done such that the first job can be done in n number of ways and second job can be done in n number of ways then both the jobs together can be done in n into n number of ways. Here our first job will be the number of ways in which four odd digits can occupy the four odd places which is given by four factorial and the second job would be the number of ways in which the four even digits can occupy the four even places which is given by four factorial. Therefore, by using the fundamental principle of multiplication we can say that the number of favorable outcomes will be equal to 4 factorial into 4 factorial and from the key idea we know that the number of all permutations of n distinct things taken all at a time is given by n factorial. Therefore, the number of ways in which 8 digits will occupy 8 places is given by 8 factorial. So, total number of outcomes will be 8 factorial. Therefore, the required probability is given by 8 number of favorable outcomes upon total number of outcomes that is 4 factorial into 4 factorial upon 8 factorial which is equal to 4 factorial into 4 factorial and 8 factorial can be written as 8 into 7 into 6 into 5 into 4 factorial which is equal to 4 factorial goes with 4 factorial. So we are left with 4 factorial which can be written as 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 upon 8 into 7 into 6 into 5 which is equal to 1 upon 7 into 2 into 5 which is equal to 70. Therefore, the required probability is equal to 1 upon 70 which is the final answer. This completes our session. Hope you enjoyed this session.